Still the smoke is too dark. Let's make it more light. Okay, that's better. Now the main problem is the smoke and fire are not blending with each other. The smoke is very hard on the edges and the fire is also hard on the edges. They are not blending properly if you just go a little ahead. And grind up this thing. You can see the uh, smoke is coming out really good, but it's not blending with this. So to blend, we have to use a scattering. To turn on the scattering, you have to go in elimination, and there's an option called multiple scattering. Now what that does is it will create lights, several lights inside the fire, and that will help to blend the smoke with the fire. So I just turn this on, and the most important parameter is maximum depth. People will think if you reduce the depth, it will uh, run, render faster, but it's not like that. If you reduce the depth, it will add more lights. So be careful with this parameter. For now, I'll just keep it 8. And this is the scattering parameter. By default, it is 1. And the fall off by default is 5. So let's see you how it renders in default parameters. It will take a while to calculate the illumination map. And now it's calculating multiple scattering. You can see level 8 lights too. So this is your level. So less number, more lights. You can see a nice scattering over there. But it's not suitable for explosion. But it will be suitable for normal fire. And all. <clears throat> but it's too much. So let's reduce the parameter. So we don't want that much scattering in fire. So I'll make it 0.5. So the brightness in the fire will be reduced. Yes, and also we have to reduce in smoke. Now for now there are only two lights. So that's why we can see more intensity over here and here. So I'll reduce it to 6 and reduce the smoke by 0.5. Maybe fire a little bit less, 0.2. You can check this. All my six cores are busy. I'm processing that. Wow, that's coming good now. Maybe now we can increase the darkness of the smoke. So, going to rendering. Smoke. Make it more dark. Because it's scattering now. It's looking nice. If you want, you can pump up the opacity also to make it full. Yeah. It's coming better. So you can just play with these parameters to how much decide how much scattering you want in the fire and the smoke. If it's oil fire or something like that, you can make the smoke dark and reduce the scattering a lot because oil fire is very dense. The smoke is very dense in that. So if you consider flamethrowers, it will have less density and all. So that depends on the scenario. The fall of parameter depends how much fading the scattering effect has. So if I increase the fall off is 5, I'll make it 10. It will fade off the effect soon. You can see right now there are 80 lights in the fire. <coughs> Still let's try and drink fast. And you can see the fall off has helped us to show the dense smoke. I guess it's too much of fall off, so we maybe we can just play with this a little bit. <coughs> 8. So we have little bit scattering, not too much. By the way, when you simulate favorite turbulence, just remember, after simulation, you have to turn this cache to wavelet. Then only it will render wavelet. By default, if we calculate wavelet, it's on default mode. So make sure you change this to wavelet. So we can see a little bit scattering. Let's increase a little bit fire, and we are ready to render this. So I'll render this, I'll render 100 frames, and I'll be back. Okay guys, I've finished the rendering, and this is the output. We have to play a lot of the parameters to increase the speed, and the fire should last longer time, and the smoke is also too black. So you just have to play with the parameters, or just you can go in after effects and play with the levels and curves, 
and increase the brightness of the smoke and if you time it really well it will be like the uh, explosion which I showed you sometime back this, which is this this one so you can see if you just play with the timing and speed you can get a mushroom like effect in the explosion and you can make this kind of explosions in particle flow also you have to call the particle flow system and tune effects and simulate it in that way we'll be doing that doing that in the next tutorial so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching my video